Hey everyone, this is My SharePoint Questions and I am Andrew Hess. Today I wanted to talk to you about using colors in our app design. Many of us are becoming professionals with Power Apps. Uh, this is a new idea. We're, we're now creating our apps. So I figured, you know, why don't we go more into the UX design of colors? You know, colors have a lot of meaning in an app. When we search Google and we search for the mood of colors, right? We search for the mood of colors. I'll just click on some of these. We can see what colors can do to our app design. The psychology of colors, you know, red, excitement. Uh, red can be a warning in our app design. You know, orange seems like another warning. Yellow, creativity, happiness, warmth. And then green, you know, green means good to me. Uh, that means so if there's a project and it's red, yellow, green, we always want to see the greens. Your blues is a, a trusting color, and you know, pink, compassion, purple for royalty and luxury. So maybe your app, you know, you want a luxurious app, and then you have your browns, you know, trustworthy, uh, simple, blacks, and then whites. So you have you know your clean, formality, sophistication, and then you know simplicity. So I'm here, I'm here in Power Apps. I'm going to add a background color. So let's see if I just fill in, you know, we can just fill in different colors. And you'll you'll notice as we go in through here, you can see that this red is much different than this red. So let's go into custom. In our custom colors, you can see as we move down, we're actually losing saturation of the red. When you think of different reds and you get closer on the gray scale, if you go to the far right in the top corner, that's gonna be your highest saturation of a certain color. So no matter what color it is, you're gonna see that high saturation of this color. And I've seen this in people's apps, and I don't wanna you know, be negative about your app, but if you're in this high saturation of these colors and someone is using your app all day, all the time, people are gonna get tired of looking at your app. It's just, it's too bright. Now, I know this is more of an opinion, but um, let, let's think about this, right? So if you think of children's toys, let's, uh, let's bring up uh, Google again. If you think of children's toys, normally children's toys are of high saturation in color, right? So if, you're, if your app is made for children or for a younger audience, maybe you want that high saturation of color. But when we get into more um, things for an adult and to keep people calm, you know, you, you lower the saturation of those colors. So lower saturation of colors. When you, when you start getting down into more of these grays, your eyes, you know, can get, uh, can relax more. So maybe you don't want uh, your app to be in that high saturation of color. If you change, you know, come down here in the gray scale and, you know, maybe a little bit less saturated than that very dark red, that may be uh, more of a relaxing feel for your audience. So when we're picking out colors, you'll notice that it says the, the hex uh, number here. But what we have here is red, green, blue, and I believe A is for alpha. And so this is how, how clear you want something to be or transparent. So you can make something more transparent. Let's, uh, let's turn the background back to white, just for uh, demonstration purposes. Let's bring in uh, two shapes, uh, rectangle shapes. And so we have two rectangle shapes and we're gonna say one is uh, blue and the other we're gonna make um, red, uh, of the type red. And then we're going to lower that alpha value. So let's lower the alpha value to 50 and then pull it over top. You see how it combines and makes purple? Uh, I just think, you know, this could be used um, in many different ways. So if you were using two colors in your app, you could, uh, you know, combine those colors and you could say, okay, I have a red and a blue. I want to know the, what color matches with these two colors. So I can add a HTML text. And I can write in here uh, input type equals color, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. 
Okay, so we have input type equals color, and we can uh, click play, use the, uh, the eye drop, and pull in the color that's in between our red and our blue. So in app development, I think what you want to do is keep things simple. Now I know this is opinionated, but you want to keep things simple. You want to use a max, I would say, of four different colors in your app. Three colors is idea, ideal, but four colors max. So we can uh, combine two different colors. So let's say we had a, um, you know, maybe a green, a green and a red. We could find this brown orange in between. Uh, we can kind of, you know, identify different colors that we wanted in between our two main pr uh, primary colors that we want to use. So it is pretty neat. Um, and I do think that um, in app development, uh, use, picking the right colors is, is huge. So let's say maybe we had a gray. How about a, a gray in here? And you can see in between the, the green and the gray, uh, the different colors that we could combine. Maybe we want to use these three colors throughout our app. And we could easily just come in here and write this down for ourselves, right? We could add a, uh, a text here, use the uh, eye drop. 221, let's see what the other ones were. 238 and 198. Let's find our next, let's find our next color. So in between here, 195, 212, 172. Then finally, this is our uh, this is our gray that we were using that we chose right from Power Apps. 204, 204, 204. 204 straight down. All right, so maybe uh, these are the three main colors we want to use for our app. I'm going to make the entire background this gray. And then the, the top toolbar, we'll keep it as this green. And then we can copy, paste it, and then make it not lower the alpha value for the fill so, or, or increase the alpha value back to one. And that'll give us back that green color we had before. On our app start, we can set these RGBA colors as a variable. So let's go ahead and do that. So on our app start, we can set up some colors here. So set, uh, let's call it a uh, variable gray uh, to the RGBA. And it, I believe it's 204, 204, one. All right, we can set the next one, set variable light, oh, we'll call it mint, RGBA, 221, 238, 198, with a one. And finally, I will set the, um, we'll call it variable dark green, RGBA, 195, 212, 172. I forgot to set my alpha value. All right, so now we have our three colors set up as variables. So once we set these uh, colors on our on start, you can actually come up here to your app, uh, the three dots here, and you can run your on start, right? So that's going to run the on start of our app. So it's setting those colors and those variables. So we can replace each of these fills. So variable gray. And this square for our fill is variable mint, I believe we called it. And then we have our variable dark green. All right, so we actually have these um, colors now set up in variables. So we can add a button. Uh, we can just kind of experiment and check out what the what they look like in the with a fill. So fill, let's do a, a variable mint. And we can change the text color to be black. All right, so we can actually see how that button looks. And I, I don't think it looks that bad. And uh, let's change the hover fill. Let's see, color fade. We'll change right in here, variable mint. So we'll just put that into the color fade, minus 20%. And so we can see it as it... Um, changes colors. 
Now, I know you may not like my colors, but I'm just doing this for demonstrations. You guys can do whatever you'd like. All right, so we have a button and it uh, goes back, I guess. That's just a, a random button that goes back. Now, when it comes to more colors, what do you see with all apps nowadays? Almost always what you see now in most apps, uh, I would say in Chrome, in SharePoint, uh, you have this uh, dark screen mode. Now, an easy way to do this dark screen mode that I, I have thought about is using this hover fill and then the color fade option, right? So let's say we have an input and it's a, uh, a checkbox and it's gonna be our dark screen. Let's change the, the on check and uncheck to a variable. So on uncheck, so this is gonna be normal, we're gonna say variable, um, Oh, set variable dark screen to zero. So we, we don't want it to do anything. On check, we want to set variable dark screen to, uh, let's say, neg negative 65%. All right. So now on each of our colors here, you'll notice that on the hover fill, it uses a color fade. We're going to do the same thing on color fade. But on our normal fills of all, all of our rectangles here, we're going to set uh, to, this was uh, dark green actually, very, we'll say color fade, color fade, uh, variable dark green, variable dark screen, <laughs> uh, and not color face, color fade. All right, so I'm going to change that for each one. So we have variable mint, so color fade, variable mint, uh, dark screen, oh, variable dark screen. All right, and then finally the gray will be color fade, variable gray, variable dark screen. All right, so now when we click on the dark screen checkbox, it darkens our app. And, you know, I think you're going to make, if, if someone is using your app, let's say more than two hours a day, I feel like you should have a dark screen option. You know, all of us IT people, a lot of us do like the dark screen option. And if you can just turn on the dark screen, you may be able to help your customers. Um, you know, let your uh, customer's eyes kind of relax instead of those bright colors. So it is a, a kind of nice thing to have, uh, just kind of using the color fade option, you can change all the colors of your app. So another thing we wanna think about when we're choosing colors on our app is we wanna think about accessibility. There's something called the UI Theme Designer Let's check it out and it's from .NET and this is how you can change the colors of your SharePoint. In the top left, we have a primary color, text color, and a background color, right? So same thing in our app, right? We only want a max of three colors. And actually, if we use this, we get the same color picker that we have in Power Apps. And one great thing about this that makes our, whole, our life easier is the accessibility checker. Microsoft is actually going to check for accessibility issues for us when we choose our colors. So let's say we had, you know, a dark background and then the primary color and then the text color. We can see up here that the accessibility actually is looking good. So uh, this may be a place you want to go to for your resources. It will pull in, you know, your three different colors, your primary color, text color, and background color, let's say maybe we wanted a dark red. And as soon as we get into an accessibility issue, Microsoft is gonna tell us. I'll put this link in the description, but just using all these resources that we have um, online can be pretty useful. And even down here in the bottom, it's gonna give us different uh, theme slots, you know, different colors that we can use in our app. And uh, once again, you want to stay away from the high contrast. If someone's going to be using your app a lot, I really recommend staying away from the high contrast, high saturation, actually, I mean, the high saturation of the colors, because 
your eyes it will just will be tired of that high saturation of those colors. Uh, one more thing that we could do is kind of let's say we had another we had another uh, let's see rectangle. You can use variables with colors in here too. So let's say we have a rectangle with a slider. And this is just more for ideas. So we'll have a slider here. And the min and max values we're going to say is 255. And the minimum is negative 255. Right? And so this is our slider uh, 2, it says. I'm going to pull this in here to the fill. And we're just going to add um, that variable in here, slider 2 dot value. Maybe you want to experiment with your colors. So, you know, you can use a, a slider even or even a, a text box for people to change the colors of your app. So I'm just showing you how you can use variables in your app also. Maybe you want to use uh, some type of variable um, based on, you know, if you have an error or if it's different type of error. Maybe you want to use a variable in your, your colors of your app. So I'm just going to search Google again. I'm going to say app development colors. I, I do think um, maybe we can find something in here. How about this one here? Uh, seven color pattern trends in mobile app design. You notice how here in, in this one, uh, they are using more of those less saturated colors, right? So this app is for adults. It's not for children. The, the colors are more on the gray scale. You can see how they they get closer and closer with different colors. So it's kind of started with like an orange brown and worked their way down the gray scale. Uh, high contrast colors in UI. This is what I was talking about earlier. You know, a call to action button. So high uh, contrast and that saturation is more for buttons. Uh, a button that you want to do something with. Less noticeable colored shadows. Um, yeah, we can add shadows. I, I've done that before. Um, but I guess not being able to see that shadow may be helpful too. Uh, some apps require, you know, multiple uh, icons, it says, you know, and each of these icons can have, you know, different importance based on the saturation of that color. So bright colored icon uh, iconography, you know, can be used here. So if you had a bunch of different charts, I do think there could be a reason to use different colors. Use pastel for muted colors. Um, as they say here, you know, mobile UI design, it, it, it is opinionated with colors, but um, one size does not fit all. Right here, they love the, the pastel colors. Limit your choice to white, black, and gray color. You know, minimal amount of colors, so white, black, and gray. Uh, keeping things simple. Um, instead of keeping them distracted with all the colors may be better if say maybe you had a hospital app or a COVID app. Maybe you don't want a bunch of bright colors uh, on a more serious tone of an app. I love to use gradients in um, my power app. I I've done it a lot. I usually use it in the toolbar. I, I like to use gradients. Um, I can touch on that real quick how we can pull in gradients using HTML. So I just dropped in some a div with a background color and a box shadow. I pulled in the colors we were using here, so maybe more of a blue here, but I added a gradient. So we removed all the padding from the HTML. Uh, we removed it on the Power App side though, on the padding uh, bottom left, right, and zero. I removed it all to zero. And then we can send this to the back. And so you can see how we can use that gradient there too. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I know this was opinionated, um, but hopefully this will help you design your apps uh, with different colors. And we, we wanna be as professional as we can. And the more we can get into the professional side of app development, I, I think the better. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.